All right, man, what's going on? It's Earl's Detailing. I'm back and blessed with another video. All right, today we got two vehicles. We got the Cadillac. Um, oh, oh, look what I just caught. Hard, boy. Stop playing with me, man. Put that feather on your hair. Nah, I just playing. Um, but yeah, we got the Cadillac 600 LT. Then we got the Drink uh, Rubicon over there. About to watch both of them at the same time because I got uh, it's two of us out here. So one of us takes each vehicle. Speeds up the time process, speeds it up. If another one needs help, you know, you'll see us collaborating and working together. But that's where we at right now. So we out here in Tucker, Tucker, Georgia, knocking these two vehicles out. Um, sweet and simple. Not really that dirty. Uh, I would definitely take you around to see the vehicles before we start cleaning them. All right, so this is the Jeep. As you can see, it's a little dirty. Y'all to see all that over that side. The back of his trunk is kind of dirty too, but it's not. It's not too bad. Not too bad. You know what I'm saying? All right. So as you see, he um, foamed the outside of this one. It's really not that bad, though. Yeah, so there's no point in me showing you the inside. I only show you the inside of the Jeep because the Jeep is worse. He kind of keeps this vehicle up, so it's nice and easy. But I'm about to start on the Jeep. I'm about to do the rims on it. Lock in. You like that so better? It looks sunny, though. I need me a rag to wipe these rims down. This bad boy still working. What's the battery on over here? Oh, yo, so I ain't even coming from Mars. What we on 60? All right, we good. Let's lock in. I'm about to pull you closer now. 
See him over there working. Getting it in. Stupid. Yeah, so again, man, if you didn't see the other video, these are called uh, Double Twisters. They're from the Rad Company. I might go in the uh, ACT and get me another bit one to dry. You can go band for band. You can go prayer for prayer. It really needs some love. There's man back on here. Not when that sun come out. So all that means is freaking trouble for me with this camera. Hey. Ain't gonna cap on that B roll. You can speed off this up. I ain't doing nothing but drawing. This ain't nothing serious. Slick come back here. I'm finna wipe these rims down. I got three microfibers. Uh, right outside, now I'm wiping the rim down. You don't want any type of residue to stick on these wheels. So you want to clean them while they kind of wet. So you don't want the residue. Tire is straight. You can hit it, the door jams too as well. Cause really the tire clean, man. It's not really dirt coming off the tire. You already cleaned it. I mean, it's not like a lot of brake dust is coming off and super dirty. Got to hit the door jams. <laughs>
All right. Yep. Now we about to do the wipe down process. So I got my clean chemical, got my rag. Um, it's not really that bad. So what I'm gonna do is spray the rag and then start wiping stuff down. You can just see like lines from the rain, but it's nothing that bad. Um, you know what I mean? You don't really need like a brush or anything in that nature. There's one door down. Sometimes you might need to spray the chemical on something to kind of let it break it down and get it right out. But if you do, you want to wipe it up right away. You don't want to just let it sit right there. Don't the caddy. Hidden. Yeah, see my boy did inside this bad boy. See how good it's working, but I'm not God, all that tire popping like that. Jesus, this bad boy extra wet. You gotta pay extra for that. We all good in the caddy. Yes, sir. Wow. Good. Mm. Work, check the work. TVs in there for the kids. Come on now. All right. Get inside here, wipe all this down. Oh, look dusty in her. All right, so now. About the vacuum just back out, right? And as you can see, it's kind of bad, but not really. Um, when you start detailing, a tip is to start getting customers that that want you to come out bi weekly, or you know, the once or twice a month, because that can upkeep their vehicle. Um, the more you do it, the cleaner it is. The less you do it, the crazier it is. So you want to try to get people on schedules or on a subscription plan where you come out multiple times. Cause it makes it a lot easier when you do these cars, you know what I'm saying? You're not out here for 10, 11 hours doing a vehicle because it's super bad just for in and out, you know what I'm saying? Like anything that costs like $100, you want to be trying to be done within an hour, you know what I'm saying? You want to be getting paid at least a hundred hours and it takes, it takes time to work up to get to that, but that's your ultimate goal, bro. Cause you out here in the sun, you out here in the weather, you can be out here in the Super hot or super cold. You know, these people still want their vehicles in because they carry their vehicles. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how to charge that price because you're consistent, you, you're motivated, you're coming out, you're doing it. You're not wishy washy with them. You know what I'm saying? Doing it one month, and not doing it for a day. They want you to do it. Like, you stay consistent, you keep showing that you do this. That this is your, this is your grind and get. You know what I'm saying? The hustle or whatever, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're working a lot, you're doing something wrong. You should get to a point where, like, you know what I'm saying? The work you do is doable. Not when you pick up, you got 10 cars. That means you need to raise your prices. I might have ordered some more of these. Cool. What's up? Right. Everything is here, boy. I don't know what all this stuff is.
I ain't gonna lie, are the detailers? You can charge extra for moving people's stuff around. Don't ever be scared to do that. I had to do it a couple times where it's like ridiculous inside. Like. Something about that. But yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, you feel me? Like detailing is cool, but you out here trying to pack up a whole car and move all that stuff. Man, you can charge them extra depending on how, how crazy it is. You know what I mean? So never like underestimate yourself you go to a car and it's super nasty you got extra for this extra. it's your business and if they don't want to pay it don't do it that's all it is all right this side shouldn't be that bad oh that junk come out it sure did Alright, front seat done. Yeah, my foot got caught in the back and clean it. Holes and shit. I don't know how I'm back and I'm about to take it inside of the car now. Come on now. Yeah, eat off this floor so clean. Oh my boy, bro. That bad boy here. Stop playing with me. Sam, that bad boy here. I'm tired, Sean. Come on now. You know we did the bad tire too. That bad boy looking good in this natural habitat. As you see, man, we are all done for the day. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming. I'm flooding you all. Let's build this team. Let's build this detailing community. Let's go up. Support. I support y'all. And if you got any questions, again, hit the Discord. Hit the Discord. Ask questions. Ask how to build a mobile detailing. While active in the Discord. Hit the Discord. Let's build this community for detailing. Let's get the secrets out. That show people how to build a business that show people how to make money other than just working for somebody else you know what i mean i'm locking in with you all so follow me tap in like comment subscribe and peace i'm out baby and we blessed with another detail today you already know